Hello, hello, Jeff Helvin here with Balan Brands, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about AI and how it integrates with Elementor. Now, AI stands for artificial intelligence, and really that uh, encompasses quite a bit. It's uh, learning machines or things like that that we uh, have, have maybe watched in the movies in the past, from things like iRobot to uh, an actual movie called AI. But, uh, but this is just a little more simple to understand. And basically what it is, is it's a writing tool. It's a helper. Uh, it's like a writing assistant. And so there's lots of different integrations. Today, like I said, we're gonna focus on the Elementor integration in particular, and really work through just how, you know, what that means to have it integrated with the website. So as you can see here on the screen, I've logged into Elementor. It's one of the new things. So if you haven't logged into your Elementor platform for a while, it'll pop up automatically. But uh, as it says, the future is here, right? Right with AI. So um, basically what it does is it helps you create content. And so it's a big struggle for a lot of us because we might have some ideas or we, we might struggle with certain words. But this is really just a helper to kind of um, maybe do a little bit better of a job with something that may not be natural to us. So here you can see um, it says here, instantly turn your ideas into original text and custom code with a free trial of Elementor AI installed on the newest versions of Elementor. Now, one thing to understand is AI is not free. Um, there are tools like ChatGPT, and a lot of times there's different levels of membership. But um, in this case, we're just going to go ahead and activate the uh, trial membership here. So we'll just go ahead and click continue. And it has some other things about containers and whatnot. We're just going to close out of that. Now, what this does is we have a, let's find it here, uh, search widget. Do the AI. Um, so when we get into an actual uh, content block, so let's go to an area that has a piece of content. Um, there's an element here. Close that out. And it has here write with AI. So it's a new little uh, piece. And so I'm going to actually do a new one. I, I want to write a new little piece of code. So let me go back to widgets. So we're going to go to a text editor. Drag that over. All right, here we go. So write with AI. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. That's new here. So step into the future with Elementor AI. Yes, I approve the terms and service. Of course, you might want to read that if you are concerned about anything there. So now it pops up AI beta and it says suggested prompts. So what you do is you prompt it. That's what you're, you're, you're giving it a prompt. So it's kind of like having, like I said, like a writing assistant. You're saying, I want to sell this service, for example. So let's say I want to... Um, explain why it's important to have a website just as a quick example and i want to on this page i'm trying to encourage people and why it's a good thing to have their own website so this has suggested prompts write a product description for create a blog post for create an about a section for right so i'm going to do that i'm going to say uh, create a blog post for why you should have your own website. All right, so now we're just going to click generate text. So what it's doing is it's actually taking, you know, this bot going out there and it's checking the search engines, it's reading content, things like that. And here we go, it just spit out a little example. So in today's digital world, having your own website is a crucial is crucial to establish a strong online presence. Here are a few reasons why you should have your own website. One, control and ownership. Two, professionalism. Three, reach. Four, communication. Five, cost effective. Right? I mean, it, literally, this is just, it just put it right here on the page. I can, I can take this content and I can, you know, just keep it as is. Um, they have this little fixed spelling and grammar in case some of this didn't come back correctly. Um, you can also tell it to simplify the language, make it longer, make it shorter, things like that. So if I just click make it longer, because I wanted it to be a more thorough if I'm adding this to maybe its own page or I'm being a lot more thorough, I'm going to spit this out there. Now it's going back and it's rethinking and doing what it is. So now it has a completely different um, format. See, I like the previous format personally, where it had the bullet points, the one, two, three, four, five. Um, so there's different ways, you know, you, you still have to control it. You still want to tell it what to do. But in this case, it's, um, it's not all that much longer, probably as part of an upgrade. Um, generate professional text about any topic, translate your content into different languages. There's lots of different things you can do when you upgrade, of course, um, but it gives you an idea. You can change the tone of it, you can translate it. 
Um, but let's just say I'm good with this, right? I want to use this text, so I'm going to go ahead and click Use Text, and it pops it right in, and there's my content. So that's the, the whole point of this video, is just to show you where it's integrated, how it works, um, AI and art, you know, the, the writing assistant, things like that is a much broader topic and, and has its own videos. I would encourage you to go over to my sister's YouTube channel, Lori Ballin, who has an uh, infinite amount of resources on writing and chat GPT and prompts. And I mean, just, just anything that you need to get started when it comes to any of this helping generate content. So if you have any questions on that or anything else, you can email us at team at